Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 17th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past two days, as it's all of a sudden gone quiet, hanging out in a B-class range, and we haven't seen any major solar flares. But we do have, as mentioned this morning, that massive coronal hole that is Earth facing, affecting our planet right now. Having a look now at the last 24 hours incoming, we do have a couple small sunspot regions turning into view. The big one is now Earth facing 4087. Here's a look at outgoing. As there are plasma filaments, you can see those darkened lined regions. Plasma filaments dancing across the surface of our sun. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Having a look at multi-spectrum pointing out the last 48 hours of events and as well as showing the magnetic field of our sun during this most recent coronal hole event as it came circling around from May 1st onward. Big coronal hole, earth facing, solar winds hitting us at over 600 kilometers per second. Another amazing way to see our sun. Thank you so much for pressing play today. Thanks for all the love and support getting in the comment section. And most of all, all of the memberships and the loyalty and love to this channel. Doing my best to give you the daily updates. Thanks again for watching. Here's a look at our sunspot regions in motion. There are three. One of them is directly Earth facing and perfect black hole in the center of our sun. A different filter here. Not much coming in right now, but this thing is still forming. Equatorial region, Earth facing. And here's a more focused look at our sun and its magnetic field since May 1st up until now. It's getting pretty flippy, folks. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. Current space weather conditions right now, we are under moderate level two geomagnetic storm impacts experienced. Solar winds right now coming in at 680 kilometers per second. Topped out at 758 just earlier throughout the day today. Solar X-ray flux. Minor M-class flare from two days ago. Other than that, it's been pretty quiet. B-class range. Proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity. Hopped up to a KP6. The instant that we were impacted by the coronal hole wind stream. Visualized here in the lower models. Showing the velocity of the solar winds affecting our planet. No new CMEs to talk about. Just coronal holes. Here is a look at our planet being bombarded by the solar winds. Shows our magnetic field, left-hand side showing the wind speeds, darker the reds, faster the wind speed. And the right-hand side showing the pressure that our planet is going through during this space weather event. Tonight's Aurora view line and tomorrow's will be very prevalent, but mostly west and north. Tomorrow diminished chance tonight. Now let's have a look at Alaska 2, showing the last two days of cosmic energies leaving our sun. No new CMEs to show here. A little bit of activity on the backside of the sun. It's been quiet, earth-facing, after seeing a pretty strong and active 48 hours just last week. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as USGS is reporting 230 earthquakes. Started off the day with a strong 6.0 at San Pedro, Peru, 92 kilometer depth. Scotia Plate here towards Argentina and as well as South Sandwich Islands, 4.9 earthquake, 5.0 earthquake there, Nazca Plate. Minor seismicity, Caribbean Plate, 4.6 there, Honduras. 
Savannah, Honduras, as well as 4.1 Cocos Plate into southern Mexico. Notable 3.8 earthquake here, Bunkersville, Nevada. No major swarms to talk about across the U.S. Alaska with a 4.9. Eruption at Kilauea yesterday, yet again, episode 22. Deepest earthquake past 24 hours, 531 kilometer depth, 4.8 Fiji. Papua New Guinea. 5.1 there, Philippines, 4.9 just recently, Sumatra. Pretty large eruption at Merapi Volcano today. Now let's have a look at earthquakes around the world the last seven days for shakers and movers. As it's been fairly quiet, average earthquakes throughout the week. No real rare earthquakes to speak of or notable. But heads up. Northeastern, ring of fire. North American plate right up into Iceland. That's my warning, folks. As soon as this pressure is off with the space weather event, we will see the larger shallower earthquake come. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by the active and erupting volcanoes. There are 80 right now. Notable eruption at Shovelich Volcano in Kamchatka, Alaska, Hawaii, Mexico, Merapi, Indonesia. If you haven't seen the latest volcano activity report, please check it out. I do name off and show you all of the volcanoes that are erupting around the world. And right now, we have a record amount. 80 active and erupting volcanoes. Now let's get to world weather brought to you by windy.com. Strong low pressure system still stalled across North America. Watch for extreme weather event as another low from the Pacific gets trapped into the high pressure ridge and through central United States days upon days of extreme weather. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by last night's extreme weather event. Over 30 people lost their lives through Kentucky. Looking all, at all these major systems in the long range, lots of moisture heading towards the United Kingdom and parts of northeastern Europe. And some peculiar cool lows still grinding in from the Hudson Bay for North America. Could see a pretty cool long-range forecast. Overlooking Africa, Southeast Asia, and Australia, watch for a strong system affecting southeastern parts and as well Tasmania. And then extreme weather in the long range scooting across Queensland, cyclone for India, and possible typhoon for Japan in the long range. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, low pressure system west of Hawaii, being torn apart by the strong high pressure ridge off the coast of the United States. Long-range forecast, possible Pacific cyclone forming off the coast of Mexico. And here's a look at satellite imagery. As I caught this yesterday at about 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, large eruption at the Shivalich volcano, as you can see here, penetrating the layer of clouds that were above it. There was a massive low-pressure system there. Very tall pyroclastic cloud penetrating through the atmosphere of the Shevelich volcano. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Stay safe and healthy. Wear and prepared. Get your daily do.